Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is the Let Us Thank God LUTG Radio Morning Show with Kathy Brooks. Let's win some souls, play some music, and have some fun in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hey, hey, hey. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Jesus is Lord. All right, y'all, we up to segment number two. We got more music for you, another opportunity for salvation coming at the last five minutes of the segment. The My Peace segment is about midway through. And um, we're probably going to keep on talking on prayer. Um, we left off in chapter seven of the book of Matthew. Uh, but um, here's one thing you should know about prayer. When you... Uh, Say so you're out and about, and I ain't gonna give you the whole thing now, but say so you're out and about and you see somebody that's sick, don't instantly go up there and start laying hands on people. You gotta ask their permission. And it's the same thing as if you, somebody is far away from you and you decide you wanna pray for them because their life sucks. Well, how their life is is truly not your business unless you're willing to help. Because Remember, God says, don't just pray and leave them hungry or leave them in want or in need. Help them. So, even if you don't have the resources, you maybe know somebody that does. So, you got to go out of your way to do more than just the the simple, more than just the norm. Because you would expect someone to do the same for you. Remember, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. That also includes prayer. There's this uh, person I used to pray for me. I, I, honestly, I couldn't stand it. I, I'm not going to lie to you. Couldn't stand it. Every time he would pray for me, the spirit of stupid would come on me. I am not kidding. And it would be so oppressive, my head would begin to hurt. It would be like a vice gripping my head. And it was truly a spirit of stupid. Let me tell you how stupid it was. I had these people over to the house and uh, for dinner and instead of telling me that they didn't like the food because it was like healthy food, um, they could have just added more cheese to the burger or whatnot. It was one of those veggie cheeseburgers. They could have done that. Instead, they took my food and they threw it in the bathroom garbage. I am not kidding. That is a spirit of stupid. So whenever somebody invites you over and you don't like the food, don't throw that food out or don't throw that hospitality away. Simply say thank you and keep it or say no thank you. It's better to say no thank you because you won't offend them by saying no thank you. Because at least they could keep that food or that provision for themselves. So you got to be careful when you, you pray for people out of your own righteousness. You, you you don't do that. You don't do that. It's it's called an oppression. And it's a spirit that's on you that's causing you to do that. It's just the same as um, some people believe that it's okay to um, think about having sex with somebody else. Well, when you do that, while you're in the midst of throws with, I don't know, your spouse or whatever, they can actually feel that sometimes, especially those that are saved and those that are aware spiritually. They can feel it. Not only can they feel it, their spirit is an understanding of it. So you got to be careful about that kind of stuff. And don't pray against people when they're trying to seek employment. I've known people to do that. I've known people to call up employers because, you know, they, they hire up. I've known people to do that and say, don't hire such and such. I've known people who are able to help someone with a job. And another person will call them and say, don't help them. Let them find it on their own. Well, that's ridiculous. Because if they, they're coming to you and you're able to help them, why not help them? Remember, the seeds that you sow become the plants that you reap. So, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Don't mistreat people because you don't like them or 
you feel as though you don't like their family or you don't like what their mother did to you or what their father said to you or they crossed you in some way that they don't even know. Don't do that. You must be ready and able and willing to forgive immediately at all times. At all times. And if you really have a concern, tell Jesus. Now this is when you save or unsaved. And I say this both saved and unsaved because Jesus is the head of the body of Christ. And when anyone in the body of Christ has an issue with their brothers and sisters in Christ, you tell Jesus he'll solve it. When anyone, anytime someone is outside of the body of Christ, meaning they're unsaved, and they have an issue with one of Jesus' children, all they got to do is say, hey, Jesus, the Lord or God of so-and-so, your children are doing, or your child is doing X, Y, Z. He may not like what they're saying, but he'll know whether or not it's true, and he'll solve the problem. So go to Jesus when you got a problem with a person that is a part of the body of Christ. And when you got problems with people outside of the body, Jesus will solve that too. All right, we got music coming up for you right after this quick commercial. Hi, this is Kathy Brox of LUTG Radio, Chicago, Illinois. This is an example of a 15-second commercial. Contact us at lutgradio at gmail.com. Advertise with us today. We want your business. Contact us today.
is right before the book of Matthew. It's um, actually a couple chapters before the book of Matthew. It's before Nahum. Um, but in Micah, um, they're talking about sinning, sinning and they were talking to uh, the kings and the priests. And they're saying, hey, if you sin deliberately, then God won't hear you. His ears will be shut. And you're like, well, how do I know if I'm sinning deliberately? You know. It's kind of like plotting to hurt somebody or to do wrong or plotting to steal something. It's kind of like you plot and you steal somebody's, I don't know, jewelry, car, whatever. And then you say, Lord, help me to hide. <laughs> help me to hide this thing that I just stole. Yeah, he ain't helping. That ain't happening. That just ain't going to happen. <laughs> You do better to go give it back and say, Lord, forgive me. I shouldn't have done that. And you'll find that in the book of Micah, chapter 3, verse 4. It says, Who also, oops, it says, uh, Then shall they cry unto the Lord, but he will not hear them. He will even hide his face from them at that time, as they have behaved themselves ill in their doings. So, it, what am I saying? I'm saying that when you when you ask God for prayer, you got to be sincere about it. When you ask him for stuff in prayer, be for real. You know, treat him the way you would like to be treated. Meaning, you don't want nobody coming up on you scamming you. So why would you scam Jesus? Really? Why scam him? 
It ain't like you don't know already. That's the reason why he doesn't listen to you. Because if he listens to you, then he had to listen to you scam him. And then he got to punish you for it. So for your sake, and this is his showing his mercy again, it's better that he don't even listen to you. Because that way he doesn't have to punish you. So, when you come into Jesus, come, into, come to him in all sincerity. So if it's just you saying, look Jesus, like I said before, I don't see this thing. I know you said you provide it. Show me where it's at. Uh, you don't have to have pretty words for him. He's looking for the intent of your heart. He's looking for the humility. You know, don't come to him screaming and yelling. Because he may scream back. No, just kidding. <laughs> he'll wait till you're done. And then, you know, he'll, let, he'll put you in your right place. But, um, just... Be real with him. That's the easiest thing I can say is just be real with him. Here's Carl B. being as real as he can be. All around the world. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah. And we taking this all around the world. <laughs> And I done mess with all kinds of girls. <laughs> Better than ever. I say it all the time because I mean it. Uh -huh. See, life's so exciting, I become Willie Beamer. Right. Growing up before I take off in each landing. Uh -huh. Never fear flying, but fear of ever failing. <laughs> A lady said to me, God bless your mama. Uh -huh. I tell her, yeah, it's true, but God bless my problem. Uh -huh. She cracked a smile, blew a kiss to hold me down. Somehow she knew the sun to rise in the mile, and I see it. Yeah. Looking out the airplane window as the sky turns. Beautiful orange before my clear view yeah, right. turns dark and my thoughts become deeper. Uh -huh. Like why they gotta love you when you got the best sneakers? Mm -hmm. And why I'm buying Jordans and Nikes when my rents do? Is it cause I want them to love me like good food? Yes. Sorta kinda one for the rewinding, uh -huh. two for the alignment, That's and three right. for perfect timing. Uh -huh.
Hi, this is Kathy Brock of LUTG Radio, Chicago, Illinois. This is an example of a 15-second commercial. Contact us at lutgradio at gmail.com. Advertise with us today. We want your business. Contact us today. I don't want to breathe no more. I don't want to live. I don't want to cry no more. I have no more tears to get. The way you made me feel, I know I'll never feel again And to know I'll never hear your voice is tragic, I know I can't feel a thing, but I know This world is and it isn't To walk out alone, I feel so alone And I get so Without your time, I need it so just can't stay yeah, yeah. to know that you're oh, I can't believe you're oh, yeah, it's so unfair. Can't grieve, I'm bored of feeling that's the way I choose to live. A loss with no good reason, and that's what I can't forget. The way you made me feel, I know I'll never feel again. And to know I'll never hear your voice is tragic, I'm numb I can't feel a thing, but I know This world is, and it isn't To walk out alone, I feel so alone And I get so Without your time, I need it so And I just can't To know that you're so unfair. You're not here, so why won't you just go? Even when you hear your soul dead grow. Years have passed, this game is getting old. Now it's time, so why?
For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. If, if you do not know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, but want to, repeat this prayer confession after me. Lord Jesus, I ask you to forgive me of all my sins. I confess my sins before you this day. I denounce Satan and all his works. I confess Jesus as the Lord of my life. Thank you for saving me and for bringing me back to where I once was. From this day forward, Lord Jesus, I will be sensitive to how you feel. I won't hurt you. I will obey you. Lord Jesus, I ask you to present me to Jehovah in your name. Lord Jesus, I believe with my heart, I confess with my mouth that you rose from the dead, that I am saved, and receive you today wholeheartedly, 100%. Make me a light in a dark place, and from this day forward, I will leave this place and share you with everyone I meet and everyone I know. It's commitment, Jesus. I will get this world for you. I pray this prayer to the Father in the name of Jesus. Amen. I receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus with evidence of speaking in tongues for the edifying of the body of Christ Jesus by the will of Jehovah God. Amen. Congratulations. Go to letgradionetwork.com. Click on the link, find a church, get baptized with water, take your foundation class and your prayer intercessory class. So let me get saved on LUTG Radio. Follow me to um, oh, read your Bible, chapter John, the book of John, chapter 1, verse 1. Read it every day. And follow me to segment number 3, which is the birthdays. Got more music coming up for you. Amen in just a few short minutes.